Hi from the Franklin Park Public Library. I'm Miss Laura and today we're going to be making the summer dream catchers out of sticks, string, and beads. So for this uh, craft you're going to need to gather up some sticks from outside like maybe six or so. So um, you're going to want to look for sticks that are kind of pretty straight um, and a pair of scissors. The, your kit will come with some string, different colored string, and some beads. Um, so you could try doing this with two sticks in kind of a, a shape like this, or you could also try three. Um, you're going to take your sticks and um, line them up and get them, kind of break it off so they're all the same size. Now, if you want to go ahead and try three, you'll just hold it um, in a shape, uh, try to get them e even, kind of like spokes on a wheel, and then choose one of your uh, colors of string. Um, now, there's a string coming out of the middle of the ball. This is the one to use. Use the one on the middle, uh, not the outside. Um, and take this and kind of hold it here and you're going to want to wrap this around several times around the inside part of this and this is how you'll first you'll start in the center and um, kind of wrap this around you want to kind of go around and go through each one of these so that it holds it together so do this a few times and kind of go over the, the there's going to be an extra piece of string and kind of go over that. Let me kind of back up so it's easier to see. Um, and one thing with doing this, um, you're, you want to have this oops, pretty tight, have uh, kind of a good amount of tension in the string, like so that it, it kind of holds it in place. As you can see now, it's, I've done this a few times around it. And um, you can even, this is a, the beginning string. You can even kind of cut off this ex, excess piece here, trim it off. Um, now, what the thing, the point about using sticks from the outside is they have kind of bark and kind of bumps on it so it, it kind of helps it to hold the string in place so you can get it in, in a nice web shape. So the first thing I did was kind of bring the string out a little bit and go around the stick a couple of times and then do this about like half an inch each time and rotate it and um, Kind of just keep going. Um, just keep wrap it wrap it around a couple of times and keep rotating this. And this this is actually going to make kind of a almost like a like a web, like a spider's web. Um, there we go. So as you can see, now you have a design kind of like this. And what I'm doing is I'm spreading uh, spreading these out. Uh, so now I put this one down here. Do it a couple of times. The tension when you pull it, it's part of actually what also holds it together is having this kind of tight in between each one of these spokes, each one of the sticks. You can also kind of experiment and have them spread out and spaced differently. So maybe this next one I'll put closer and see how that looks. Oops. Sorry. So yeah, go around the stick two times 
each time that also helps hold it in place. You can kind of try to adjust these a little bit if you get them spaced a little bit differently. All right, so I'll keep I'll keep doing that. I'll keep making these closer, and then maybe um, after a couple of times going around this way, maybe I'll spread it out again just to make a different pattern. So now I'll try spreading this out again. So you're just kind of repeating this, and um, this can be done with uh, three sticks like this. You can also try it with just two. And you want to remember to try to kind of keep this string tight when you're doing it. So now I think I'll do it close again. Oops. So at this point, I'm just going to keep the strings close together and I'll just keep uh, going for a little bit. I want to leave some string to have a couple of pieces of string with beads hanging from the bottom as a decoration. Um, So when you're doing this, be sure to take the string from the middle of the ball. Don't use the one on the outside. It'll be easier if you use the middle of the ball one. Um, okay, and then at a certain point, it gets to be, you know, this is kind of the point where it looks, I think it's, this is looking pretty good. Um, so go ahead and cut off, cut it at a certain point, at a certain length like this. Um, and you can actually just tie it off. Um, you might want to tie a couple of knots.
and then on this string and then um, you can make use another string as well to tie some beads onto it so just as uh, we did on this one over here you'll tie beads on the bottom of this one so search in your bag and uh, you, can, you can search in this bag where the beads are and uh, maybe put a few beads on the bottom of each one of these strings just kind of uh, make this string into a point and Sometimes it helps to kind of dampen it a little bit. Okay, and then once I did that, I'm going to tie off one of the beads like that. And trim it off the scissors. Okay, and now I'll do the same with this one. So this extra string here, I'll kind of loop it over and uh, maybe, and then put some more beads on that one on each end of this string so that there's so this will kind of hang down on on the bottom of it and then tie this string off Trimming off the excess string. Um, so now we have this. So I'll find a few more beads for this other one. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and use these light colored ones. Yeah, I like to, I think it helps if you make it a little bit damp to try to make it pointy on the end. The string will go through the bead, but it helps if the ends are kind of stuck together. Let's see, and then um, tie off the bottom one, and that will hold them on there. And cut off the extra string. And there's there you have it. So um, you have one here with uh, this is with two sticks and one uh, with three sticks. So and you have enough string um, and beads to make three of these. So you could try experiment with different sizes and shapes. Okay, have fun and thank you for watching.